Hi and welcome to the follow-up video about Radical Design's bullet cargo bike bag. About two months ago I made a video about this bag when it was still a pre-production model. If you haven't seen that video I would recommend watching it first before watching this one. You can find a link to the first video in the description of this video. After making the first video I shared my findings and remarks with the people from Radical Design. A few weeks later, I received a new bag with some adaptions. One of the remarks I made was that the bag bottom straps were too close to the bike stand, making it difficult to strap the bag to the frame due to the mechanism of the stand being in the way. This was resolved in the adapted version. Another change was made to the separate honeycomb boards that will be available to give the bag more support in the front, back and sides. Now the four panels are attached to each other, making it easier and faster to install them if needed. When you don't need them, you can fold them and leave them on the bottom of your bag. You can put them on top or underneath the inner lining, whatever you prefer or think it's easier to use. I tested the bag for myself about one week in everyday use and I also asked two other bulleteers to test the bag for a few days. Let's find out what my fellow bulleteers Tarek and Tom think about the bag and then I'll be back with my findings and thoughts. Hi, sorry to interrupt this video, but if you like the content I make and you want to support my channel, you can do so by buying this bag or other products from my webshop. On every sale I get a small commission fee which enables me to make more and better content for you. Okay, so and now back to the video. Bye. Okay. Hi Tarek. Hi uh, Helgi. Uh, we're here today to uh, talk about the Radical uh, bullet bag. Yes. So I reached out uh, to the Antwerp bulleteer community uh, uh, to see if, uh, there, if there were some bulleteers who would be interested in uh, testing out uh, the Radical bag uh -huh. for me and you won you were one of the, the people who oh, uh, reacted. So you've used the bag now for approximately a, a week, week now? Yeah. yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I would say, tell, tell me what you like about it, what okay. you don't like about it. Well, so first of all, I found out that I'm not in need of something this big. Uh, mm -hmm. I live at home, so I don't need to ship a lot of products, a lot of big products. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe in the summer, uh, a, a crate of beer or something like that, but... Um, yeah, overall, I'm I'm not the 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 one that needs this the most, but I found it yeah really a fun product. It's it's mm -hmm. really big. It's really um, uh, compact also if you need it to. Yeah. Um, what I found out also is that maybe you have this um, liner on the inside, so the the um, hard liner to keep the bag upright. Mm -hmm. um, what would be helpful for me if the liner was um, already uh, structural up to here. Or something. Ah, yeah. So that so there would be already some uh, hard case inside, yes, but indeed, the low because one. Because eh, if you uh, use the, uh, the bag for small items, if you mm -hmm. use the bag like uh, how I used it mostly, mm -hmm. then um, the things are going to get lost in the waterproof lining. So uh, yeah. maybe get something structural for the bottom half and then fold it up um, to, the, to the full potential. Um, in its full potential, it was a, a really useful bag. So I, I shipped some larger things with it uh, for testing, mm -hmm. um, and it stayed upright. It didn't catch too much wind. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you're gonna uh, get used to it also. And if you uh, if you really want something big, you wouldn't have uh, to whine about uh, about wind. Yeah. Okay. And because you you use already a, a bag on your bike? Yeah, I use the Farer. Uh, the Farer uh, ball. Yeah, uh, no, yeah. not the no. ball, the, the hood. So, uh, ah, yeah, the one you this. can... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, so it's, it's, uh, it's here. So it is folded on the bike yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, so it's already on the bike. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah that's a bit smaller than... Uh, yeah, it's, it's yeah. about the same as your uh, your side panels and your uh, yeah. canopy. So, yeah. um, But I think okay. because the Farer hood is foldable, mm -hmm. um, if I were in need of something bigger, I could use the uh, Radical Design Bag because mm -hmm. it's... It, it clips on really nicely. Mm -hmm. It's not really clipping, but it straps on really yeah. nicely. Um, so I can just um, fold my hood up and then uh, if I need to uh, move a big crate or something uh, yeah. more uh, yeah. sizable, then I can yeah. put it in the radical then design bag. Yeah, okay. So in your opinion, for who is this 
back you think uh, more for couriers or people who um, use their uh, bikes for big families like a lot of shopping um, I don't think it's for people who move their kids on their bike because yeah the yeah. bag is really in the way for that yeah um, but like I said not really for me but I find it a, a really fun uh, product yeah okay thank you for your opinion <laughs> no problem hi Tom hi Helgi uh, You've tested for me the Radical Design yep. bag. I reached out in the Antwerp Bullet, com yep. Bullet community uh, to ask if uh, there were some people who would uh, like to test it. Uh, so you reacted. Yep. Uh, you've had the bag for about three or four days, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you thoroughly tested it. Yep. And so I would like to know uh, what you okay. think about the bag. So what's good about it? What's not good about it? Yep. So, yeah. uh, my first impression was it was a, a quality piece. It felt strong and good. Um, but like you see, it's a little bit messy from my opinion. Uh, the moment that we, we put it on the bike, you, you found out that the straps mm -hmm. actually were, were long, but it's necessary because it's a big bag. Yeah. Uh, but when it's folded down, yeah, the straps are always on the ground or, or a little bit messy. Mm. Uh, I drove home, I think, for 30 minutes in the rain. When I came home, it was, yeah, there was a little puddles here and there, but not that much. Mm -hmm. um, and it didn't came through, so that's yeah. a good thing. So it, it was yeah. still dry inside. It was still dry inside, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think overall, it, it's, it looks a little bit more sporty than, than the panels and, and the canopy that I have. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and... Um, yeah, so when I came home, I, uh, I started messing around with it. Uh, I put the panels up, mm -hmm. like we did here before, pulling the entire bag out. Yeah. But I noticed that you only can, can loosen up half yeah. of it and then and put then, them right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you close the bag afterwards, I found out there's, there's a kind of a place, it sacks yeah, a little. So it sinks yeah, in. It yeah. sinks in, yeah. yeah. So I think in heavy rain, you can, you can create a big pedal there. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I think it was good. I used it for groceries. So I have two of those plastic uh, folding crates. Yeah. Um, they fit in here, so side by side. Yeah. Uh, so it's bigger than the, than the classic panel with canopy. There only fits one. Yeah. So, and then <laughs> sometimes I, I stack them up, but I can't close the canopy anymore. So okay, so I, then it's too high. Then it's too high, yeah. yeah. So yeah. The, the top uh, crate is, yeah, can catch rain. Yeah. And that wasn't the case with this. Yeah, so, so here you can really fill yeah. it up and yeah, quite high. Up, yeah. yeah. So, um, and if you don't put the panels up, but put the crates there, mm -hmm. you can use the straps to tighten it. Yeah. So that was easy, so it's not loose. No. So, yeah. uh, and for the first time, I thought it was funny. Um, I go to the store every time, the same store, uh, and there were people for the first time. They said, "Oh yeah, it, it looks great like this. It's more sporty." So uh -huh. it's the first time, first time somebody yeah. Yeah, complimented reacted. me or reacted on on the bike itself. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. okay. So I thought that was funny. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, so it's it's it's. Um, do you think so that it's it's uh, um, an option for somebody who uses his bike daily? for groceries and stuff, family stuff, uh, to use it? Or do you think it's more a bag that's uh, aimed towards like professional uh, use, like uh, bike couriers? I, no, I think you can. Um, somebody like me, I don't have kids, but I do groceries once a week. So yeah. then it's okay. It's flexible as well. Mm -hmm. So you can fold it down. If it's folded down, yeah, my opinion, it's a little bit too messy. Mm -hmm. um, so I have some mixed feelings about it, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but it was great to test it out because yeah. I was thinking by setup like it uh -huh. before. Um, so it's great, and I'm still not. Um, I'm still a little indecisive of uh, yeah. <laughs> what to do. If this yeah. uh, is a good option. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I think, yeah, I can, I can split my groceries up in two, so I can, if I want, I can go two, yeah. two, two times. times a week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think for a courier shop or uh, yeah, people with, with a big family, they use the bicycle as a second car. I think it's great. 
Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, like uh, like Tarek said in the in the previous interview, um, it's not for hauling kids, or like I do, I uh, have a volunteer job uh, that involves hauling bicycles. Mm -hmm. On the pedals, I can place the bicycles on it, and here. Yeah, I can that's yeah, that's too difficult. So yeah. yeah, then I had to change it. Yeah, it's easy to change, but yeah, I don't know if yeah. You will People are always a doing little bit that. lazy, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we choose for the for the easiest option. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Thank you for your yeah, honest opinion. Welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, what are my thoughts on the bag? The bag is extremely well made and it's fairly lightweight, as I already mentioned in the first video. The bottom plate inside the bag is slightly wider than the bike, so it's very flexible. If you need to transport heavy objects, it's advisable to use the strengthening panels. They prevent the cargo from shifting too much while riding. These panels are also useful if you want to carry only a few items. The panels give the bag a more solid shape, making it more accessible than when the bag is almost completely flat. It's a large bag that can hold a lot, which also means that when the bag is almost empty or empty, you have a lot of excess fabric that you have to fold. This gives a messy impression, but that's unavoidable due to the concept of the bag. Also, the straps that keep the cargo in place while riding are very long. When the bag is empty, it's difficult to store the straps and they can sometimes blow away while riding, which is inconvenient. I asked Radical Design if they can come up with a solution for this. Radical Design claims that the fabric of the bag is completely waterproof, but some water can still seep through the seams because they are fully stitched and not welded. To avoid your load from getting wet, you can use a separate inner lining that is also waterproof. To test the waterproofness, I left the bag outside on the bike for two days in the rain. The bag was empty and folded. As you can see, there were several small pools of water on the bag. Upon inspection, some of the water had seeped in, but I can't be sure that the water didn't come in when opening the zippers. When using the bag filled, I didn't notice any water infiltration either through the fabric or the bag or through the liner. In my opinion, this bag is most suitable for professional use by, for example, bike couriers or companies that frequently transport a large amount of cargo. For private use, I would recommend using the strengthening panels. They give the bag more shape, making it more accessible when storing smaller items. If you have any questions or comments regarding this bag, please post them in the comments below this video. If you're interested in buying this bag, you can do so through my webshop. When you buy the bag through my webshop, I get a small commission fee from Radical Design. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye.